Hey guys, so I want to continue a little bit with, I made a video about ABC Christian who was, you know, presenting his futurism ideas, I suppose, and talking about the day of the Lord, and I said that the day of the Lord is kind of just a general phrase used for, you know, the judgment of God, uh, a day of God's judgment, which can be used for, you know, the judgment of an individual or the judgment of nations. And uh, he tried to use Thessalonians and then go back and use the book of Joel in the Old Testament. And so I want to share this with you anyway. So type, if you can go and type of uh, Day of the Lord Master's uh, Seminary. Oops, okay. It's right there anyways, but. It's right here, this PDF, Bible's Watchword, Day of the Lord. The Master's Seminary has something to do with, like, a John MacArthur school, so I don't think John MacArthur didn't actually write this. I said that I had something by him, but basically it's from Master's Seminary, and he's kind of attached to that. They have a lot of good articles and stuff. I mean, there's there's error in them and stuff, definitely, but if you want to look up some interesting stuff, look up the Master's Seminary PDF or whatever, see what they have in the PDF files. I have a lot of those printed out. Um, but, you know, they go to the Greek a lot and probably teach a lot of false doctrines, actually. So, <laughs> But they go into detail on some things, so that's kind of good. And they give footnotes and stuff. But this is by Richard Mayhew. Okay, the Master's Seminary. The Bible's watchword, Day of the Lord. And I just... I just looked at this briefly, and I'm going to go over it briefly here, but here it says the Old Testament background. God's servants, the prophets, spoke of the day of the Lord as both near historical and far eschatological events. In many pas passages, the day of the Lord moves from the near to the far. This relationship between near and far can be seen in Obadiah, Joel, Isaiah, and Zephaniah. Okay, it goes some verses there. It says, Beecher commented, the prophets thought of the day of Yahweh, the day of the Lord, as generic, not occasions which would occur once for all, but one which might be repeated as circumstances called for it. Kaiser, who has been influenced by Beecher, similarly, similarly explains the final time would be climactic in the sum of all the rest, though the events of their own times fitted the pattern of God's future judgment. That day was nevertheless immeasurably larger and more permanent to it in its salvific and judgmental effects. Okay. Day of the Lord prophecies found fulfillment in various ways. These included one, the Assyrian de deport deportment of Israel in 70, 722 BC, Amos 5 18 and 20. I'm going to kind of check that out. Amos 5, 18 and 20. I don't know what it says. Does it just talk about... Uh, the Assyrian captivity? Okay. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light, as if a man did flee from a lion. And a bear met him, what was it, 18 and 20? Okay. Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light? Even very dark, no brightness in it. Well, somehow they're tying this to Assyrian captivity or deportment of Israel. The Assyrian invasion of Judah, Joel 1, 15, 2, 1. Okay, so there is exactly what some people have ascribed that to. That's what ABC Christian tried to use here, and other people would too. Yeah, it was Joel 2, 1, right here. Joel 2, 1. The Assyrian invasion of Judah in 701 BC. See that? Nothing to do with some future physical, literal, special end times event where Christ physically literally appears and all this other nonsense. Okay? 
And all of these people believe in the future physical literal millennial kingdom. People that are in this master seminary. I can show. Let's just go to the end and stuff. They talked about it being a, an eschatological event and stuff. You know? They talk about the rapture and all this stuff. So, okay, I don't know what this person actually believes, but, I mean, I'm, just, I'm pretty sure he's some kind of a futurist here. It doesn't matter. Anyways. So, I'll show you guys there that the day of the Lord, just kind of a general phrase, and uh, it's been used for various things uh, in, in the Old Testament. It was used for events that were already fulfilled and stuff. So, uh, that's that. I said that, and now I'm showing that. And I'd like to go into more detail about this. I need to read through this, and I'll make some kind of page on the forum or something about the Day of the Lord, and go through that more eventually. Hopefully I remember.